Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Doc Jones back at it again with another video. Yes, today is the day I am gonna be doing a wish list for 2022. Now, I told y'all before, I like to spend money at a minimum when I'm spending my money. Or not even that, I don't like to spend over a certain amount on things that I know I can usually get for a better price or you know maybe it'll be something similar but not exactly the same piece, if you know what I mean. Today, I wanna talk about some pieces that actually catch my attention in the, the more luxury category, right? I talk to Kaylin about this all the time. She's more into luxury than I am. She has a few luxury pieces. I have one luxury piece, and the only luxury piece I have is the one that Kaylin bought me. So that is my Louis Vuitton wallet. I love the LV wallet. It's it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not like I'm not pressed about you know brands or luxury. I do like brands. You know, not saying I don't like brands, I love brands and I love what brands do, a lot of these brands, but I just, I can't see myself spending thousands and thousands, thousands and thousands of dollars on certain pieces. Now, I will say, when the bank account is looking a little bit different, then best believe you're gonna see your boy in some more luxury pieces because I see a lot of pieces that I do like. But right now, you know, I like to focus on you know, balling on a budget. That's what I like to call it. Balling on a budget. When you balling on a budget, you know, you spend your money wisely. When it comes to certain pieces, you're not gonna spend a bunch of money on one piece. That's what I like to do right now. Sometimes, granted, sometimes I do spend a couple hundred dollars on a jacket, but usually that's about as far as it goes. Jacket, shoes, I keep it along those lines. This year, I wanna get into the luxury side of things a little bit more. Right, I'm gonna start putting some money aside to get a piece here and there just to step up my entire wardrobe. Nothing wrong with that, right? So today I wanna talk about a few pieces that are on my 2022 luxury wish list. Starting off, the first piece I wanna talk about is, of course, the Adidas Yeezy Knit Runners. Now, I love these right here, man. The boots though, not, not just the runners, but the Yeezy Knit Runner boots. These right here are definitely a piece that I can see myself wearing on a daily basis. Man, I wish I had these earlier in the winter and late fall. These, these right here, I feel like they are so comfortable. I love the way they look. I love the color. I feel like I could put this together with so many different things. And just the entire Yeezy theme, like for me is just, man, those Yeezy foam runners, I love them so much and I wear them like every day. And I feel like these will be just like that. Like I will be wearing these a lot. I definitely want to add that to the catalog. That would be a piece that I could just put with like a denim jacket or I could style it up. I could do so many different things. So that's definitely something that I would love to have in my wardrobe, in my closet, for sure, definitely. Look like they got my size in them joints. The next piece I wanna talk about, these off-white logo print cargo trousers. These joints right here, man, I could just see myself rocking these so much. I'm a cost per wear type person. Like, if I'm gonna spend a certain amount of money on something, I want it to be something that I know I'm gonna wear a lot, and that's just how I like to shop. I could see myself wearing these trousers every day, man. They look like they'll be comfortable. Um, they're 40% off right now on Farfetch. So that's definitely something I like to see. 40% off, you know, we still going in, in the direction I like to go in on the discounts. Even with that 40%, they still come up to $636. But that's cool. Like, I feel like for some off-white, definitely would love to have. I don't even have one piece of off-white, so I think that would be pretty cool to have some off-white in my closet as well. Definitely a piece that I want to add to the collection. Now, this next piece right here, it's a pop of color, man. I love having that piece that's just a pop of color and that's just going to stand out every time I wear it. It's going to be something that catches the eye and this red 
really just drew my attention immediately as soon as I seen it. But not only that, but the fit on this thing, like <laughs> it's the fit on this thing as well. It's got that oversized look. I love the oversized look. Um, but yeah, I'm talking about this Canada Goose right here. It's the um, Canada Goose Angel Chin Oxen Bomber Jacket. Bob, Angel. Angel Chin Arkson Bomber Jacket. This jacket right here is so fire. Like, I really could see myself rocking this. And like I said, everything, everything that I'm talking about today is something that I could see myself really wearing a lot. I'm definitely going to get that cost per wear on something like this. I love the way that the front is so solid and simple, but then on the back, you got a little bit of detail. You got that, you got those reflection stripes on the back. Man, that's just a, a nice touch right there. And I love the way that looks. So definitely had to throw that one on there as well. All right, next up, next up, I want to talk about this vest right here. Now, this is me stepping out of my comfort zone. I always wanted to get some type of like, fisherman vest something different that i could just throw on over a t-shirt or over a hoodie and something solid that was going to definitely set the fit apart from like a lot of the other different styles that i wear and i feel like this vest is definitely going to do something like that um this is the 1017 elites 9sm vest it's a tactical vest all black I love all the, the bells and whistles and straps and stuff that's on here with the mesh. I love it, man. It's simple, but it gives you that tactical look. You know, it look like you ready, you, you ready to go camping or some shit. I don't know, <laughs> fishing or some shit, but I love it. Um, that's definitely something that I would love to have just to throw on and style it in my closet. Now, the price on that thing is... <laughs> Look, I mean, I, I will probably try my best to make it before I bought it. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I probably would try to make it before I bought it. But no, for real, like, this is something that I definitely love, man. And I always wanted a piece of uh, Elix in my closet. You know, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Elix, 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 yeah, Elix. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, I love this piece right here, man. I can see myself throwing this on and yeah, going bungee jumping or some shit. Next, I want to talk about this Supreme. This Supreme, this yellow Supreme jacket right here. This is the Supreme North Face collab. Oh man, I love the way this yellow looks. It's another one of those pieces that are, it's just giving me that pop of color. I feel like they did it just right with this one, man. Like, it's simple, it's clean, it's solid. It does what it's supposed to do. It got that little brand awareness right there, that Supreme stamped across the front. The top right of the jacket, well, it's the top left, if you're wearing it. The top left of the jacket, it has the North Face logo with the yellow and the black. And then it just got that little touch of white on there just to let them know, you know, North Face is in here too. I love how they did this piece, man. Like, this is something that I would love to have in my closet. I actually might really consider getting this one. This might be the one, I mean, outside of those Yeezys, cause I definitely love those Yeezys. Um, this might be another one of them pieces that you actually might find me in. You might catch me in this one for real. So I'm going to think about it. I'm definitely going to think about it. Next up. Now, this is something a little different for me. This one right here is the Valentino Double Breasted Virgin Wool Blend Coat. This right here is giving me a whole nother look, a whole nother vibe. It's something that I know I can dress in and I can step out. I know if I'm going to dinner or if I'm going to a nice, you know, uh, a nice gathering something where I'm gonna be having a few drinks but I'm keeping it classy this is something that I would love to throw on real quick and step out the house it looks nice warm I can wear some nice Chelsea boots with this or some nice I could, I could just do so much with it man I really could do so much this is like shirt and tie tie vibes right here but yes, I could throw on anything with this uh, this jacket right here. It's giving me that peacoat look. It's a, it's like giving me the look of a peacoat, but it's not really a peacoat. I don't know. Like, I mean, uh, I guess you could say it's a peacoat. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if this is a peacoat, cause it looks like a peacoat, but then it doesn't. Like, 
I don't know, but it's virgin wool. That sounds nice. So definitely. Um, this will be something nice to throw in my closet. Um, and honestly, for the price of this one, I feel like this is definitely worth it. Like, you know, I mean, to me, like, y'all let me know. This is, it looks like it's worth it to me. Okay, these boots right here. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all straight up. I'm not a big Amiri fan. Yo, the crepe, I don't know how to say that. The, the crepe, 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 lug combat boots. I just love these boots, man. They, they, they're doing something different right here with this one, and I love the way they look. I can see myself throwing these on. It's kind of giving me that same colorway of almost like a Timberland boot, but they took it and they turned it into like a combat boot style. And then, you know, that chunky sole on there is giving me the modern feel. I love the way this looks. I feel like something like this, man, I feel like it would never get old for me. It's always going to be a nice statement piece. And um, yeah, I definitely love these boots. Amiri, you got me on this one. Like seriously, I really like these boots, man. This next one right here, oh my goodness. Gucci, Gucci did it, Gucci did it. With this rain coat right here, this rain jacket, the GG canvas rain jacket. I love the way this jacket looks, fam. Like they got the shorts with it too. I like the shorts, but I probably wouldn't wear it with the jacket myself personally. Um, but I, I do like the shorts, but the jacket, oh man. I know that this is a piece that I would throw on all the time. It looks really good. That green, I don't really have much green in my closet right now. So I know I could definitely use some green. And yeah, this one this one looks nice. This is definitely a cool one. It's a, the ticket is a it's just a, it's a little high. I'm just saying the ticket is a little high. But you know, if your boy bank account was looking like that, I'd pick it up right now. So I'm just saying, you know, this um this is definitely a fire piece right here. And I I could I never thought I would see myself like being into Gucci, but I really do like this piece. I'm not even gonna lie. I like this piece a lot. Next up is a piece that I looked at from Stadium Goods. This piece right here is the Stadium Barn Orange Coat. And this is funny because it's like, it's one of those pieces that like, if you look at around the room and you see somebody in this, you're gonna have to stop and turn back. Like, wait a minute, did I just see what I thought I saw? Yes, you did. This jacket is so fucking fire, bro. Oh my goodness. And like the price, it's not even bad. Like this is a pretty cool price for, for what it is. I mean, it's stadium, like, but you know, for 272, $300, like to me, that's fire. That's a fire pickup right there. Um, So, I, you know, I love how they got the burgundy collar. It just sets it apart doing something different that colorway is smooth man like it's just different i would have to style this right though i know i would have to do this right like you can't you can't get this you can't get this one wrong like you got to get this one right the burgundy collar with the orange man yo the pockets it's like they place these pockets perfectly yo like oh my goodness okay yeah but this is i actually might look into this piece as well like just like i was talking about those yeezys and that that uh supreme jacket i really like this one too this stadium goods joint is fire i'm feeling it and i might actually put away some i might put away a couple of dollars to get this one right here like I, i'm definitely feeling this one yo so i've always wanted a pair of Rick Owens shoes. I always have wanted a pair of Rick Owens shoes, um, but I actually found these boots on Farfetch, and when I seen them, oh man. I honestly didn't know that it was Rick Owens at first. I didn't even look at the name of the shoe or anything. I just was like, man, these boots are fucking hard. Fire. And they just happen to be Rick Owens. They just happen to be Rick Owens boots. So um, these lace-up suede tractor boots by Rick Owens, are super fire i love the sole of this boot oh man i love the sole of this boot i love the entire vibe that is giving me the zipper going up the side the le the long laces wrapped around the top of the boot i love everything about this boot like i mean what can i say like these boots speak for itself 
I really don't have to say too much. Like these boots are really doing something serious. Oh my goodness. The transparent rubber sole on this thing. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah, the, this is this is a piece right here. These boots are definitely something serious. Oh man. Next up, this is a piece that I usually wouldn't go for because it's it has the brand name all over it. Now the Gucci pieces like that as well, uh, with the Gucci print all over it, that green Gucci jacket was like that as well. But this one, the Balenciaga, it's, for me, it, it seemed like a lot for me as far as like having the brand written all over it. But I don't know, I don't, this one, for some reason, it's catching my attention. I think it's that blue with the black. And it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like too much for me on this one. It doesn't. And I feel like this would be a nice piece to just have in a closet, you know, every now and then when I am feeling brandy, like <laughs> when I am feeling like, you know, I want to rock a brand outside of my own, of course. Shout out to Neo Nami Honor Clothing. Y'all already know what it is, Honor Gang. Um, but yeah, when I feel like rocking another brand, this will be a nice one to have. I'm definitely feeling this one with the long sleeves. Yo, this is going crazy right here, man. I love it. I want to talk about these Bottega Vanettas because everybody has been like really, really on these Bottega Vanettas. And I love the way they look. I love the way they look. I'm not mad about it. Now, granted, the shoe is made out of all rubber. And for the price, <laughs> these are Bottega Veneta boots. So, of course, they're not going to be... Uh, 200 300 dollars but i definitely love these puddle rain boots for me particular it will be the blue ones i don't know I, i'm feeling the color blue this year like the color blue is really a vibe for me right now like i got this blue supreme bag that i actually love it's like it's something about this royal blue that rich royal blue that is really grabbing my attention this year I love these Puddle Rain boots. I love what Bottega Veneta did with these. And I am actually considering adding these to my closet. So this might be another one of them pieces that y'all see me with coming soon. This will actually maybe sooner than later. <laughs> maybe sooner than later. I'm not gonna lie. Like I I didn't put them in the cart and considered it and it was like okay let me chill let me back up a little bit i might be getting i might be going over the fence jumping over the fence with this one right now let me think about it but yeah i might start i might start putting something away for this one because i really do love these boots i'm not gonna lie and i, I never see anybody with the blue ones i always see somebody with the black ones or the green ones i rarely see anybody with the blue ones i don't know why maybe you know people aren't really feeling the blue like i am right now i don't know but i'm considering these blue ones now on to another pair of boots i promise this is the last pair of boots <laughs> this is the last pair of boots these balenciaga men's trooper boots in black if you haven't seen them yet man i'm telling you the square front on these joints <laughs> i love the way they got that square toe in the front they got that thick sole chunky leather oh man they got that chelsea boot vibe i'm loving these right here i'm really i'm really loving these like i feel like they just <laughs> They did it. They did it just right. I'm over here talking about this stuff. Like I'm about to just go cop it right now. That's how I'm really feeling. Just sitting here talking about it. I'm really like, listen, I'm just saying I might need to just start a whole nother bank account just for luxury pieces. I actually might have to consider that just setting up a whole nother account strictly for luxury pieces, you know, I have, you know, everything else somewhere else and then okay this is my little stash for luxury pieces but yeah those are the luxury pieces on my 2022 luxury wish list like i said you know i'm i'm open to you know diving into new realms when it comes to the fashion thing um just so y'all know i'm i'm still really new to the world of fashion like i'm not like this crazy uh you know born into fashion type guy like i actually started learning and experimenting more with my style about three four years ago so if you're just getting started yo 
congratulations bro like it's gonna be a long journey but you're gonna love every second of it it's so many pieces out here that can really just set your outfit on fire i'm actually looking to get a few of these luxury pieces of course the yeezys i'm already into the yeezys i'm already into the supreme i already have some of those pieces the gucci i never got into it but i'm actually open to it this year this is going to be the year where i start buying a few luxury pieces here and there you know maybe i'll you know set some money aside and actually start getting some of these pieces so you know it's a thought it's definitely a thought but i appreciate y'all watching this video man go on ahead like comment and subscribe if i shared some value with you today or showed you something that you had never seen before definitely show your boy some love in the comments go follow me on instagram at illis free and i appreciate y'all for watching man y'all stay up i'm gonna see y'all in the next video peace